we don't need to talk about diseases in order to get results. And so when you look at why Wakaya Perfection was started, this goes back to Mr. Gilmore. And uh, he had been successful many, many times as an entrepreneur, uh, the largest gold mine in the world. He had a hotel chain in the South Pacific. Um, he had a online publishing company and a stereo company. And the most, uh, probably the most famous of his successes was Fiji Water. And many people have seen the success of Fiji Water and how that was the fastest growing beverage in America and, and potentially the entire world. But he was asked to speak at a conference where they were talking about the world's greatest luxury. And when everyone was else was talking about time freedom, he said something very profound. He says, your own health is your greatest luxury in life. What good is your wealth, your possessions, even your time if you don't have your health? I mean, think about it. What if we had time freedom, but we're stuck in a hospital bed because we were sick? Obviously, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be freedom at all. And if you look at what's happened in America, um, if you go back to the 1960s, according to Dr. Zach Bush, uh, children born in the 1960s, we expected them to have a 4% chance of developing a chronic disease. Now, that was the expectation in the 1960s. How is it today? Are the children born in the 1960s only 4% of have they developed a chronic disease? No. And this goes back to the RAND Corporation. We're not talking just about those that are in the 1960s, would be, which would be in their 50s uh, uh, this year. But it's the it's the people in their 40s and the people in their 30s and the people in their 60s. If you look at adults in America, according to the RAND Corporation, and these are the, this is the corporation that gets statistics for the U.S. Congress, for the U.S. Senate. And according to them in 2017, they said 52% of the uh, adults in the U.S. have at least one chronic disease. 42% of the adults in the U.S. have two or more chronic diseases. And three or more was actually in the 30% range. Folks, there are too many people here that are sick today that shouldn't be sick. Why is it that being sick is the new norm? Why is it when we mention diseases, if it was diabetes or arthritis or, or epilepsy or any number of diseases, fibromyalgia, which used to be called a phantom pain, you know, they thought it was actually something psychological, it was just in your mind, or, or muscular dystrophy, or any number of diseases. Why are these diseases going up? What's happened? Is the human genome just suddenly broken down? And the answer is no, we actually have a problem. Why Wakaya Perfection? Because when it comes to the problem that's making people sick, Wakaya is in a unique position to help people feel better. And one of the things that uh, you can see right now is a reason that people get sick is that our foundation, the foundation of health, if you would, is being damaged over and over and over again. Now, the master teacher talks about a house built on the sand versus a house built on the rock. And when it's built on the sand, it collapses when the storms come. If it's built on the rock, even though the storms come, they survive. Well, in life, when it comes to our health, we can have stress. We can have chemicals. We can have genetically modified food and pesticides and radiation and even accidents. And with a weak foundation, we develop pain, disease, and suffering. But with an optimal foundation, we can have energy performance and recovery. Our bodies are designed to heal. And we can get optimal healing with this foundation. So when we look at this, um, it's actually called the Wakaya Core Pack. There is a core of the things that we do at Wakaya that we do better than anywhere else I've ever seen. And there are four basic things that compromise the core. If you look at the four benefits, we have digestion, we have detox, essential nutrients, and inflammation. And I want you to think of it this way. Digestion is breaking down food and getting good, good nutrition in the body. Detox is getting bad things out of the body. Essential nutrients are those good things that your body needs that it's got to have. And if you don't have them, you're going to get sick. And inflammation is something that will gum up the works. Think of inflammation as like congestion on a freeway. If the traffic is really bad, fewer things are getting in and fewer things are getting out. And this inflammation becomes such a key thing that most of us have heard that inflammation is either the cause of a disease or associated with or the effect of a disease. Almost every disease out there has something to do with inflammation. So if we can help the body get 
rid of inflammation, get better digestion, get better detox, and get the essential nutrients that our body needs as building blocks. Folks, this Wakaya core is something when you're built on a solid foundation, your body's going to work better. And that's what we want people to do. And we're going to look at digestion as one of these key things that's a reason why people are getting sick. Because when digestion gets sick, the, it can affect the entire body. And uh, I want you to ask yourself, do you have poor digestion? Well, ask yourself this. Have you ever run out of multiple groups of nutrients? Now, think of it this way. Have you ever had stiff shoulders or eyelid twitch or back pain or knee pain or a leg cramp, or maybe been physically tired and have trouble going to sleep. If you have, folks, then those are all the signs of a certain group of nutrients that's deficient. The same nutrients that you need for your bones in your left knee, you need for the bones in your shoulder, you need for your teeth, you need for the bones in your inner ear, folks. Now, there's a different group of nutrients that you need for your skin. So if you've had dry skin, or hormonal imbalances, or a cough, uh, a dry cough, or cracks on your heels, which is actually a sign of dry arteries. Or perhaps you've had those deficiencies that lead to dry cracks in the brain. Yes, that's right, folks. When you have that thing, that thing, and you know what the word is, you just can't get to it. Or you call your kids by the wrong name. Or you walk into a room to get something, and when you get there, you can't remember what it was. Well, that's a different group of nutrients. And if at the same time, you're missing the nutrients you need for blood sugar imbalances. In other words, for healthy blood sugar, there's a certain group of nutrients. If you don't have that, you get cravings for sweets or, or potentially you can be physically full and go into the refrigerator to see what looks good. You can get sleepy after meals or wake up at night to go to the restroom. And those are all different categories of diseases. But when you look at those categories, it's like, wait a minute, I don't have just one category. Maybe I have two or maybe I have all three. Why is that? And one of the big reasons is because we screw up digestion. When the body, the door to the body is not working, when the door's closed, when you can't get the things into the body that you need to, folks, you can run out of almost everything. Think of it this way, like a water line. And a water line into the house, if the water line is clogged or it's not working, it won't just be the, washer, uh, the washing machine. It'll be the sink. It'll be the shower. It'll be the toilet. And anywhere else that uses the water line, those things won't work as, uh, like they need to as well. And it's the same thing with the body. Well, unfortunately, much of the food we eat has been grown with chemicals that damage the digestive tract. This is what has changed in the last two to three decades, and it's changed a lot. In fact, if you look at a statistic from March of 2015, and this is from the Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology, they actually went and looked at the calories sold in U.S. supermarkets. Now, understand when you're buying something in the supermarket, those are the, the type of food you're buying to take home and eat. You're not up there eating out. You're not eating junk food. You're not going to a vending machine. You're going to a supermarket. But 62% of so the calories sold in the U.S. supermarkets come from heavily processed foods. These are foods that aren't the way nature designed them to be. A lot of chemicals in there. A lot of almost food-like substance, if you would, almost fake food. A lot of the trans fatty acids, a lot of the problems. And if that weren't bad enough, let's say you're part of that one-third of the calories that come from the outside, from the fresh food. So is the fresh food safer? Well, unfortunately, sometimes that fresh food has so many problems with it, it's contributing to the problem as well. In fact, if you look at what happened, they, they launched, uh, this is from a JAMA study that was released in October 24th, 2017, but they used uh, the use of glyphosate or pesticides. This has increased approximately 15 fold since 1994. And it's on Roundup Ready crops, corn and soy, but a substantial portion of the weed and the oats grown in the U.S. Since 1994, the amount of pesticides on um, just this one type has increased 15-fold in society. And when you look at what they've done with just weed, you've heard a lot of gluten intolerance and celiac disease. And if you go back 20, 30 years ago, most of us have never even heard of gluten intolerance or celiac disease? Is it suddenly that the genome, if you would, or the DNA of wheat has changed, that it used to be good for us and now it's harmful? No, 
they've actually traced this. And uh, this is one that uh, according, if you look at the USDA and the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control, and you look at those statistics, when they've increased the amount of glyphosate on wheat, the amount of celiac disease has uh, gone up almost uh, accordingly. And you can see the graphs that compare those two right here. And that's not the only one. There are other enzymes that have been released in society. One that was approved in 1996 called BT that was designed to melt the digestive tract of insects. And they say, that's okay, you and I are an insects. But since the advent of that, what's happened to the amount of people with digestive damage? See, if you look at how our body's supposed to get nutrition into the body, in the small intestine, we have something called villi. And these are small, like finger-like projections. In fact, they have little hairs on them. And the food's supposed to get down, broken down smaller than the hairs on the individual cells of the villi. And when it gets broken down that small, it gets absorbed and we get it into our body. But if you've ever felt bloated, if you've ever felt, you know, not just uh, acid reflux or sick to your stomach, but if you've ever felt congested, you've ever felt um, uh, constipated, if you've ever felt any problems in your digestive tract, one of the things that happens is these villi get damaged. And we call it modest damage. And if you see there, the middle picture on your screen, that's a loss of 70% of the surface area. That's modest damage. It seems to be that that is the new norm. And those people that have really bad diseases like celiacs or like Crohn's disease, they're talking now severe damage where it's almost like scar tissue. And I don't know how we get absorption through scar tissue. You can see there's a huge difference between these slides here. More and more people have the damaged villi. And I want you to think of this as an analogy. And the analogy is we've sent toxins into the body and they're creating damage. And there you see pictorial uh, representation of these individual villi, uh, these individual cells on our villi and the little finger-like projections, if you would. But imagine this is like nails in a tire. If you ever get a flat tire and you've got some nail sticking out of it, what do you need to do to fix it? And the answer is you got to pull the nails out. You've got to get the nails out. The body will try to heal, but what if these toxins are still in there? What if the nail is still in there and you put a patch over the nail, what happens? Well, the patch isn't gonna hold, it's gonna go flat again. In fact, if you wanna think of it this way, if you're gonna fix a flat tire, you've gotta do three things. And if you only do two of these three things, you will never get the results that you're after. One, you gotta pull the nails out. You gotta get rid of the toxins. Number two, you've got to patch the hole. You've got to repair the damage that was done. It's not enough just to go gluten-free where you say, I'm not going to run over any new nails. I'm not going to put in any more toxins because you have to do more than go gluten-free. You've got to go gluten-free and pesticide-free. It's like you've got to have all organic food. And if you've ever eaten out at a restaurant that wasn't totally organic, if you've ever gone to a supermarket and bought something that wasn't organic, then you're getting those toxins back in. We need to make sure we're getting them out on a daily basis. Then we need to patch the hole and fill it up eh, with air. You got to put the, the raw nutrients back into the body that the body needs. What if we could do these three things? Pull the nails out, patch the hole, and fill it with air. Well, then we're going to be able to fix flat tires faster than ever before. And that's exactly what we're talking when we talk about the Wakaya core. We're going to do those things to help get rid of the toxins, patch the hole, and you give you the essential nutrients to fill it back up with air. So the first part of this, the getting rid of toxins, and I want you to understand when we talk about this, this is more than a little thing. I'm going to go back one slide for just a minute. It's the core of what we do. It's why Wakaya was started. In fact, if you look back at Mr. Gilmore, when he said health is your greatest luxury, and he felt a calling to do something to help people be healthy, and he started this company called Wakaya Perfection, he started with ginger above everything else. That was the one that he found in Ayurvedic medicine, in Western medicine, in Chinese medicine. He saw it over and over again in the medical literature and says, ginger, there's something about this ginger. And when he grew it on the island of Wakaya, he could grow it better and it worked better. And it had more of the nutrients that your body needs to help it, the signal healing in the digestive tract. And then to protect it without using pesticides, 
he found if he grew turmeric side by side, one row of ginger, one row of turmeric, one row of ginger, one row of turmeric, hand cultivated, no machines, no pollutions anywhere on the island. They grew better together and they worked so well together. And that's where we started. But to that, when Wakaya Perfection went from a, from a direct sales company um, to a network marketing company, to that we added something that made a big difference for a lot of people. And that is this amazing calcium bentonite clay. And the reason why calcium bentonite clay enhances the work of the ginger and the turmeric. Um, and I'll we'll mention this ginger here in a minute again. Ginger is probably the number one substance for helping signal the body to heal the digestive tract. But before you do the healing, what if we could get rid of the toxins? What if we could pull the nails out? And that's exactly what this calcium bentonite clay can do because it's got this amazing negative ionic charge. It stays in the digestive tract. It doesn't get absorbed in the blood, but it will take those positive ions. And positive ions are those things that are like mold and bad bacteria and toxins. In fact, the more toxic it is, those agricultural chemicals, the more toxic they are, they tend to have a stronger positive charge. And a negative and a positive charge, they attract like, like magnets. And it'll absorb up to 39 times its weight in toxins. That's why we love people taking even just a little bit of the calcium bentonite clay every day because it'll help to trap those toxins and move them on the way so your body can heal. And we actually have taken that calcium bentonite clay that you see on the screen here with this kale, and I absolutely love the kale. But we've added to that clay, the powdered clay, a few other nutrients to give us what's called a full spectrum detox. Now, a full spectrum detox means we want to detox more than just the colon. And to do this, we have added to it dandelion root and milk thistle and hawthorn berry and selenium methionine. And, and it, with this, again, the wakaya ginger and the turmeric blend. But if you look at even that hawthorn berry, you know, I had uh, Owen McKibben when they re released this product. He said he has uh, friends that formulate products, that make nutritional products. And he says just for like the price of that hawthorn berry alone for a month's supply, you're going to spend what you're spending on the full spectrum detox, so the calcium bentonite clay, the dandelion, and the milk thistle. And those, when we talk about the full spectrum detox, here's what they do. We want to do more than just detox the colon. We want to detox the liver, the kidneys, and even the cells. We've got to get it out of our cells so our cells function properly. Think of detoxes this way. It's taking out the trash. Right now in Japan, it's the New Year's holiday. And as a result, for this last week, there is no trash pickup. And so the trash is building up in people's homes. They have a a bag set out for when the trash comes, we get to take it out to the trash next week. But folks, imagine that it wasn't just one week's worth of trash. Imagine that it's been a, been a year that you haven't been able to clear out the trash. How would your house look? It would be, it would look trashy. It would be full of garbage. It would be harder to get around. And that's the same thing that happens with our cells. Anybody ever heard of athletes getting sore muscles after they exercise? Why is that? Because the body is having a hard time keeping up with taking out the trash. It's actually lactic acid buildup in the muscles because the cells aren't releasing it. Well, we have this amazing nutrient in our full spectrum detox called selenium methionine. And selenium methionine is the selenium that's a negative ionic charge. That's the way, uh, the way the, when you look at the research on selenium, the way mother nature intended it to be, it's actually, uh, can, it's not a metallic selenium, it's an organic form that's actually made uh, with yeast uh, there. And this is amazing at helping to get that lactic acid out of the cells. Selenium methionine is, is amazing at activating a, a, a nutrient, or actually an enzyme, if you would, in the body called the glutathione, glutathione peroxidase. It's an enzyme that helps repair damage to soft tissue. And then when we get it out of the cells and we get it in our blood, well, then it's the milk thistle and the dandelion root that do amazing things for clearing out the liver in addition to the turmeric and the kidneys. You know, one of the big things about kidneys is blood flow. That's why people with kidney issues, um, they get tired a lot because the body is not getting enough 
blood cleaned out of the kidneys so the toxins are remaining in the blood and it's easy to get tired. Well, we want to help clean out the kidneys and probably the best herb on the planet when it comes to kidney support is this amazing hawthorn berry. And this hawthorn berry, when you get it in the body, it'll help with circulation and it helps keep the kidneys clear. And that's one of the reasons when people take this, they, it's like you go to the restroom more. It's like you get more kidney function, but we've added more to that. Now, I've already mentioned the ginger and the turmeric, that it's hand cultivated. And I've mentioned that it has increased nutrients. Those are the gingerols and, and curcumoids that some people are familiar with. But there's inflammation support, immune support, and more with these two amazing herbs that we started with. But when it comes to healing damage in the digestive tract, again, patching the hole. The number one herb at helping support our body's ability to heal is ginger. And I use four to six or even more a day. I love the ginger. In Japan, all of the ambassadors, as a rule, use four a day of the ginger. You get better results at four a day. So if you're, you need the help with your digestion, by all means, use a little extra ginger. Use four a day on that. Now, it does more than that because with the turmeric in there and the ginger, both of them help with something that called inflammation. We've already mentioned inflammation, but I want you to think of inflammation as congestion in the cells. See, when our cells get damaged, you think of if you've ever sprained an ankle, what happens is the blood rushes to the damaged tissue and then it stagnates there. It's like uh, it rushes to the scene and then it stops. And when it stops, you get less nutrients in and less inflammation, uh, less uh, uh, of the garbage taken out. That's what inflammation is. It stagnates there. It's trying to keep invaders from going other places. And what that does is it means less healing. See, nutrition plus blood flow equals healing. And if you get stagnation, you get stagnated healing. And when that happens in the body, just like the professional athletes, if it's always swollen, it's not healing like it should, and they'll ice it and heat it and ice it and heat it on a, a sprained ankle to try to get rid of that inflammation in the body, that can lead to memory loss. It can lead to increased cardiovascular risk, abnormal growth of healthy cells or compromised digestive function, a loss of muscle tone, weight gain, accelerated skin aging, joint pain, and loss of mobility. Folks, inflammation can damage our body. And we're talking not acute inflammation, like I've just sprained my ankle, but chronic inflammation that happens over and over and over and it's not getting fixed. It's when you're getting, um, you take your socks off and you have the indentations of where your socks were because you've got inflammation in your feet and your ankles. Well, inflammation is a big deal. And when it comes to the Wakaya core, one of the new favorites that helps with this inflammation, in addition to the ginger and turmeric, is this sport and go. And uh, I like to call it the Gilmore get up and go because it was actually made uh, flavored after a drink that we had at our very first launch event when Mr. Gilmore was there in person with us for the very first time, where it was like this ginger lemonade. And this is just an amazing product. I'm actually drinking it right now, even as we talk. I love this one mixed with the, the daily detox together, but it's got some great herbs in there to help you get energy. And the B vitamins that are methylated, which means they're designed with handles that you absorb them into the body better. And that helps. So many people take B vitamins and they're like, yeah, it doesn't really help my energy. And other people, it helps. What's the difference? Oftentimes, it's the methylation. And the other thing B vitamins do, and you may have noticed this, you take this, you take our multi-essentials, you go to the restroom, you see a bright yellow. They actually help with kidney function. Uh, it's kidney support. And we've got some incredible herbs in there for thyroid support, for um adrenal support. We've got some rhodiola for cortisol support. And these are great adaptogenic herbs, meaning if it's too high, it brings it down. If it's too low, it brings it up. Many people have heard of a cortisone shot. That's where they're actually taking a drug going in there to try to help with those cortisol levels. Folks, we can do it naturally and help the body do it itself by giving it the nutrition, or if you would, the ammunition, the tools it needs to adjust. And that's what rhodiola can do. And to that, we've added minerals. And if you've ever craved something salty or you've craved something sweet, those can be a craving for minerals. Naturally occur in the human body, 70 plus minerals. We know at least 60 are essential, but these are all there in our uh, sport and go. Now, this amazing ashwagandha is an herb, and this is another one. Many times for just a month's worth of this ashwagandha, you're going to spend the same price you do as the sport and go. 
but this is an incredible herb because it helps with thyroid function, adrenal function. It helps to combat stress and anxiety, and it helps with your mood and your blood sugar and your brain health and memory and increase immune function and increase stamina and endurance, muscle strength and healthy hormonal balance. This is actually one of the secret weapons that makes this product work so well with so many people. And then when we add to this, there are multi-essentials. Now, we've got built-in enzymes in here. One of the challenges with people into society today, too many people have either reduced their salt or had carbonation or something that has led to less stomach acid, less enzyme production, less digestion. You're not breaking down the food. And to make sure you get the best results, here in this multi-essentials, the, the formulation actually includes enzymes that help the body break it down that are already included. It actually includes some of those uh, uh, adaptogenic herbs that help the body bring uh, hormones into balance and uh, help you with antioxidants on a cellular level fight against free radicals. This is a great product. I know in the, here in Japan, if someone in my family starts to feel like they have a cold coming on, I'll have them take three a day, uh, three of those multi-essentials actually at one time. And if they're big like me, uh, maybe four, and even my kids that are smaller, they'll do two, but they start to feel better. It'll actually help with the immune system. Now, I, mean, I already mentioned the minerals, but what's the difference between minerals and vitamins? We've all heard of minerals. We've all heard of vitamins. This is one of the things that unfortunately not enough people understand with their health. And that is that there are certain nutrients you can get out of plants because the plants make them. And other nutrients you can only get out of plants if it was in the soil where the plants were grown. That's the difference between vitamins and minerals. If it's a vitamin, the plant can produce it. If it's a mineral, it had to be in the soil. And iron in spinach, does, does growing spinach make iron out of the air? No, iron is an element. It had to be in the soil. And you can tell looking at your spinach if it's got iron or not. In fact, in 1999, they did a study and 95% of the spinach in the US supermarkets, they couldn't find any iron in. If you see high iron spinach, the stalk should be red. It shouldn't be green. The leaf would be green, but the stalk uh, or the stem leading up to the leaf would be red. It's almost like rhubarb, if you would. And if you're getting spinach without that, you're getting spinach that's low in iron. Folks, all of these minerals are naturally occurring in the human body, but they're not everywhere in the world in the same soil. In fact, what we've seen is if we use the same farmland over and over again, we pull minerals out and don't replace them. We pull minerals out and don't replace them. When I say we don't replace them, that's a slight exaggeration on three because there's three that they do replace. NPK, they replace three minerals. Of the 60 that we know and the 70 that are naturally occurring, three are replaced and all the others, they go down. And when they go down and down and down, you see the mineral depletion and you see the rise of diseases. Now, I talked about the 1960s. You see as they started to increase and there we have... Um, this is out through 1994. If you look at 1994, what happened from 1994, that's the advent of uh, genetically modified food and all of these problems with uh, the chemicals that damage the digestive tract. That's what's broken it down. But up to 1994, we we're already seeing a decrease in the minerals because minerals are in the soil. And in the soil, bacteria, beneficial soil bacteria, break down the minerals. They make it easy for the plant to absorb the minerals and we eat the plants. Folks, if we need iron, we can't lick an iron skillet and get our iron that way. We don't suck on our fork or chew on our spoon. We don't do that. We need to get it from the plants when the plants have broken it down. Well, what if we could take an ancient plant deposit and in that ancient plant deposit actually get, and this is the what you see here on the screen, get all of these minerals naturally occurring. And you see that in the mineral garden in high amounts and a lesser amount in the, in the sport and go. That's why the sport and go is part of our core. But if you want extra minerals, you can add on to this, the mineral garden to get extra minerals, as well as 29 fruits and vegetables that normally a lot of those vegetables, uh, we might uh, have a hard time getting in our diet. And the fruit, if you're eating keto and you're staying away from the fruit, you're not getting as much fruity in there. What if we could get all of those 29 fruits and vegetables for less carbs than you get even from one single banana, folks, and a lot less carbs. Send 26 grams, only five grams. That's what we're talking. That can be a great animal, the, the GT core pack. Well, back in uh, 2016, when we released this, uh, the when we released the 
multi-essentials, I actually went on PubMed.gov, which is the National Library of Medicine, and looked up the different nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, the polyphenols, the adaptogens, the ginger and turmeric. And you see there on your screen that between all of those things in the medical journals, you're looking at about a million and a half articles. The information's are already out there. And uh, we know that it can change people's lives. Unfortunately, it's not used a lot because I can tell you from my experience in pre-med that uh, you study chemistry, you study uh, physics, you study, uh, you study calculus. And I don't know why calculus and physics are part of the prerequisites to get into medical school. Uh, but what really surprised me is we didn't study nutrition. In fact, they said between four years of undergraduate work and four years of graduate work, there'd be one 30 minute lecture on nutrition with no test. If anything, doctors are kind of taught, oh, nutrition is not that important. Why? Because a lot of their information comes from pharmaceutical companies and pharmaceutical companies don't make money when you're healthy. They make money when you're sick, when you're on drugs and the more drugs you take, the more money they make folks. So if doctors are getting their information from pharmaceutical companies, then they're not talking about all of these incredible articles that are in medical journals on nutrition. And that's why we need to share this message. And going back to the GT core pack, the core, I want you to think of this again, the, the core four we talk about, digestion, detox, inflammation, and essential nutrients. If you can take care of those core four, your body is going to work better at getting rid of thing, getting rid of toxins, getting the bad things out of the body, getting good things into the body, and giving them the good things that your body actually needs. It'll work better in inflammation. These four principles can make a big difference in how effective our body works. And this, I want you to think of the uh, the uh, core, if you would, is kind of the island of Wakaya, and we've added a few nutrients there to those amazing ginger turmeric that come from that but to other things around the island or other things that Wakaya does that can be absolutely incredible are add-ons to this. They're add-ons because um, they can help us get even more benefit. And I can give you just a, a couple of examples with the GT Wellness. If you want additional bone support and joint support, the bone and muscle formula with its calcium and magnesium in it, uh, and then the joint formula, are absolutely incredible at helping the body have the nutrition to rebuild bone matrix, to get the nutrition into the bones so your bones can rebuild. And yes, our bones do have the ability to rebuild, even if they've been damaged. Do you know even teeth have the ability to rebuild if they've been damaged? You know, cavities, I've seen it over and over again. And several of our ambassadors here in Japan use enough of those products that they've actually seen cavities that have uh, grown from the inside out and the tooth has been able to rebuild. That's why we have blood flow into our teeth. Uh, the personal care product with the Cherish line is amazing for making sure you get less toxins in and a negative ion strip to actually pull toxins out. It's a feminine hygiene product. We're not going to spend a lot of time on that, but I can tell you the people who have tried it love it. And it's, a, it's the same price as what you could buy in a supermarket, but it works better. It's more comfortable and it's drier. Tolay is a fantastic skincare line that has the nutrients your skin needs to rebuild itself. The culinary, I don't know if you've ever cooked with ginger and turmeric, but if you have and you want to substitute what you have used in the past with the ginger and the turmeric from the island of Wakaya, it works better, it tastes better. In fact, that's actually how Mr. Gilmore started with a lot of uh, the ginger and turmeric in the United States is he went to the top chefs and had them try it. And they would say this powdered ginger from Wakaya, the powdered turmeric from Wakaya is better from the fresh stuff that I can get. The Bulafit with the ketogenic diet. Right now it's the new year. More people are looking at what can I do to help lose weight? And I, let me tell you, if you haven't read the booklet, is keto right for me? You ought to take a look at that because it, even with the ketogenic diet, it's more than just weight loss. It's brain support. It's hormonal support. It's immune support and more. A lot of great benefits from eating keto. And we even help make keto more effective and easier. And then our essential oils like food. Um, I know we've had some people that have already, already spoken about the essential oils. I love Wakaya's essential oils. I'm from Utah. There's some great oils company in uh, Utah. And I've seen a lot of oils that were great oils, but I've never seen any oils that work like Wakaya Perfections. And why is that? Because they do a second step beyond just getting good sourced oil. See, a lot of companies look out there 
at the best sourced oils on the planet and try to bring them in. Other companies try to grow their own. And you, there's some debate about which is more effective. And it tends to be that like lavender grown in the state of Utah is going to be different from lavender grown in France. And if you get the best stuff grown in the best places in the world, it's going to work better. But if you look at this whole concept of cooking, having good ingredients is a great place to start, but don't stop there. Then there's a big difference in having a good chef. You've seen cooking shows. How people cook makes a difference. What we do to the product after we bring in these essential oils makes a big difference. And Wakaya Perfection actually does a special process using vibrational frequencies that are healing frequencies for the body to energize or charge these so that they smell fresher, that they work better, that I know a lot of people saying, oh, you should, uh, the oils they use, you're not supposed to use them directly on your skin. You need a carrier oil because it's kind of harsh. And yet with Wakaya Perfection, we see that those same oils, people can use them directly on the skin, rub them in with the Ruru cream, and we're getting better results. I love the essential oils. And in fact, right now with this, this uh, cold season, if you would, um, more and more people, it's easier to get cold when it's cold outside. It's easier to catch a cold or get a flu. If that happens or you feel something coming on or you want to stay, uh, keep it away, take that, those essential oils and uh, the tea tree and rub it underneath your arms, uh, you know, four or five drops underneath, uh, underneath each arm. Let it absorb it through those lymph nodes there. You can put it on your feet um, and it just boosts the immune system. Uh, if you have people with seasonal allergies, I know this is something that uh, one of our staff here in Japan actually found. When his eyes would itch, he took a drop of the tea tree and put it on his cheekbone. Don't put it in the eye, but put it on the cheekbone underneath the eye or put it on uh, uh, the temples on the side. And as that absorbs into the skin, it actually gets to the eye and your eyes feel better. And I've seen this over and over and over. Folks, there's so many amazing things that we do. Um, you may have seen the video, The Secret to Fat Loss. Keto is so big and popular that you could probably make a company just on this. But this is an add-on to Wakaya Perfection. It's not the core. It's an add-on to the core. And we've got this amazing blood balancing nutrient that's just been added to the keto coffee to make it even better. And this is one that uh, is really outselling our projections on it and it's fantastic. And it just makes it easy for the coffee drinkers to be able to do keto. We've got amazing blood sugar support with the keto fizz. I know for me, um, if you've ever had the, and the, the signs where, you know, you are suddenly low in energy or you want to stay awake or you've got, um, you know, craving something sweet. The keto fizz is absolutely amazing because it gives you a source of energy that's not dependent on insulin. And that's the ketones. It's got exogenous ketones right in there, but that's our GT core and the things that go with it. I've already mentioned the essential oils. Some of my favorite can include uh, uh, right now uh, folks with the essential oils. Um, I absolutely love the peppermint oil because when I use that with the uh, Ruru cream, you get better absorption. And it's got the Ruru cream has some in, but you can add a little bit to it. We can add to that uh, some other uh, fantastic oils. In fact, we can do entire trainings just on essential oils. And I know Karen Grant, our oils expert, has, has been doing that. And you can watch some of the videos. There's uh, some others that I've actually had the opportunity to record with uh, Dave Pitcock. Uh, who is another one that uh, doesn't always strike you as a product expert because he loves to talk about the amazing benefits of uh, network marketing as a business. But he's actually a huge fan of the oils and has been using oils for years and can talk about the difference uh, that these oils can make with people. It's just absolutely amazing. So get a copy of that uh, recording. You know, Ask whoever it is. That sponsored you, reach out to Carolee and she can send you a link for that recording. Um, we've already mentioned the bone and muscle joint support and the Ruru cream. Oh, one of these days I will want to do just a short video to show you some of the uses of the Ruru cream. If you ever get eye strain, take uh, just a small drop of that, uh, a small uh, a bit of that, and put it on each of your temples, your right and your left temple, and rub it in, give it a couple of minutes. And you'll see that the nutrition get into your eyes, the increased blood flow to your eyes. Eye strain can go away and it's like the room can get brighter. We see 
Um, I actually have a friend in Japan who has been losing her eyesight and went and uh, spoke with uh, Dr. Ronald Pugh, who's actually an incredible eye doctor and helping people reverse blindness. And he uses nutrition all the time. And after meeting with him, she's been doing lots of the nutrition and putting the river cream on her eyes. And uh, she's so excited about how much better her eyesight is. Now, uh, it's just absolutely amazing. But you can try this yourself and see if the room doesn't look brighter, if you can't see better, if it helps you be more focused. You can rub this at the base of your neck, right where your neck and your head get together at the back. And if you're getting those tension headaches, in addition to your temples, put it on the back of your neck, especially there towards the top of the neck, the bottom of the head, where those tendons connect, maybe right in the middle there. And it's just amazing as you relax those muscles and get more blood flow into the brain that there's more oxygen getting in. And again, it can help wake you up, you can be more alert, and you feel better. And that's what it's about. We talk about high impact uh, nutrition with Wakaya Perfection, but it's about results. We want to help people get results. And the nutrients that are here in this Ruru Cream have actually uh, shown up again and again and again in medical journals. And they talk about how well it absorbs through the skin. They talk about it, how much it helps with pain and inflammation. And you've seen that. Now, I already mentioned the uh, mineral garden. What I didn't mention about that is it has extra grapeseed extract. And this is one, again, that's incredible for inflammation, incredible for helping the body. It actually gets through the blood-brain barrier, so it can help with the brain as well. And um, all of this comes down to one specific focus, and that is helping people get results. High-impact products that make a difference. There's a lot of things in life you can do where you do a lot of it makes a little difference. And there's a few things you can do where you do a little bit of it makes a huge difference. That's high-impact. A little bit can make a huge difference especially when you're dealing with the core, the foundation of health. Now, we haven't even mentioned the CBD uh, line that's, that's uh, released just a couple of days ago. We haven't even mentioned some of our other products that we have, but we have talked about the core. And really, that's what it's about when we talk about high impact. It's about the people. We want to help real people get real results in their real lives. And that's what Wakai is founded on. And to this... That's why we've gone network marketing. We understand that regardless of the research that's in medical journals, most people aren't reading those medical journals. And if you go to the doctor when you're feeling sick, they're not sharing those medical journals with you, especially when it comes to health and nutrition, because they haven't read them either. They get their information about drugs. And if we wanna help people be healthy, giving them the right things to help with digestion and detox, folks, we need your help to share this message. That's why we're network marketing. Mr. Gilmore realized we need an army of evangelists, people who are feeling a difference and sharing that difference with other people they care about too. That's the Wakaya way. It's all about the two people. I want to say thank you for being on here. I'm, we're done with our basic presentation. And uh, Carolee, with that, I'm going to turn it back to you. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing all that great information. And we did go ahead and record this presentation, and I will be sending it out via email to anyone who wants it. So if you want to reach out to me, that would be fine. And I just want to say thank you, Blake, again, for taking the time to share so much amazing information with us. I know that core makes a difference, and every time someone starts on it, I feel like they call me within a week saying that something has changed, that they feel better in some way. Absolutely. Um, and that's one of the things I love about the core is it doesn't matter if you're old, young, if you're healthy or, or if you're sick, if you're a little sick or a lot sick, when the body does better at those, those four basic principles, the core four, as they call them, the digestion, detox, inflammation, essential nutrients, when you, when you deal with those, your body always is going to be more effective at healing. And when it's more effective at healing, you're more effective at so many things. And we can see that for some people in just a matter of minutes, some people a matter of days. It's rare that it takes months and months before people start to feel a difference. We tend to see it much quicker than that. But I love if you can get to the core of how the body works and help support the body's ability to do those four things that you just see it over and over again. Uh, people see a difference. And I know, Carolee, you even talk about your nephews that are still very young. I mean, they're not even in school yet, right? They're, they're toddlers. 
and the difference that it makes when they're on those core Wakaya products as well. Absolutely. I was just home for Christmas and I saw firsthand the difference that that sport and go makes for my two-year-old nephew. Such a difference in personality and being calm and just more relaxed and able to sleep. In fact, his dad told me that if he wanted to have a son, he would never run out of sport and go. So it's a big deal for them. I know they always place large orders and love taking the products. The fact that you can mix that sport and go in the daily detox makes it simple. And it's just one drink. So I love that too, that the core is so easy to, and simple to use every day. Yeah. In fact, it, in my house, I've actually mixed those two together in the same container. So I don't have to open two containers. I just have one container and it's got the two things mixed. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. And it actually, to me, um, and I think to most people who have tried it, it tastes better together than they do even separately. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, well, thank you so much. And we will let everyone go and send out the recording. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for all you do to help make a difference in the world.